Good afternoon, guys. Yes, I know, extremely late for a lunch hour video, but I told you guys, this time of year it gets busy. And Mrs. P and I have been out in the backyard today, 40 degree temperature, but we don't care, getting the yard tilled up and seeded up and doing everything. And so we've just spent the last couple hours spreading straw after putting seed down and our fertilizer and gypsum to break up some of this clay and everything like that to turn our backyard into something other than a mud bog. You guys have all seen it. It's all dirt. We're going to try to get something to grow back there so eventually we can plant medicinal herbs and flowers and all that sort of stuff and, you know, actually have a usable backyard. So that's where I've been. While I was out, the idiot in chief and I mean, there's there's no other way to describe this man as to as then totally flipping clueless. I Joe will go down as the dumbest president ever, and that will continue. You know, they'll be looking at history books in 2300, going, "Who is the dumbest president ever?" And it'll be Joe Biden. Okay, Jackass decided to veto a bill that passed both the Senate and the House with Democrat support to nullify this ESG investment rule, okay? And I want to give you guys an idea with this. And again, this goes into my wheelhouse here after years I spent on Wall Street. <clears throat> when you invest in your 401k, you know what you've got your options are. Large cap growth, large cap value, small cap growth, small cap value, international, then you'll have some different bond funds, and everything like that, right? Joe has now decided that these money managers have to pick stocks that are in those mutual funds, because that's what a mutual fund is, or at least an equity mutual fund, has stocks in it. They have to pick stocks based on the company's environmental social governance score. Not on how profitable the company is, how woke the company is. This was back-tested by Bloomberg, uh, oh, what, a few weeks ago. And they determined that ESG companies, if you had mutual funds with ESG stocks in it, under, historically underperformed the traditional way of investing by about 2% a year. 2%, okay? Now, if you're familiar with the rule of 72, based on percentage, take 2% divided by 72, and that's how long it takes to double your money. Be 36 years, right? How long does the average person work? About 40, okay? So basically what Joe has determined today and for all you millennials and you know Gen Zers and everything like that out there, I want you to know this. Joe has now told you that you will live, you will retire with half the amount of money in your retirement plan than you would have had yesterday. Just saying, okay? You're starting your working career now. If your goal was to have a million dollars in your retirement plan and then you could retire, you're going to have to work twice as long. Just saying. Joe just cut your retirement returns in half. That's what that 2% difference means, guys. Okay. So what does this mean for those of you who aren't going to get cut in half? You're just going to take a bad, you're going to take losses now in your 401k, or you're not going to make as much money if you're lucky. Okay. It's funny, Mrs. P and I looked at uh, when I cashed in my 401k a couple of years ago, and I told you guys, that we used it to pay the house off. If I would have left the money there from December 30th, 2021, until yesterday's market close, the market has gone nowhere. So I would have had the money in there for, what, a year and a half and made zip. Yeah, okay, paid off the house. That was a good idea. So now you look at companies that mutual funds are going to be pretty much forbidden to buy. Oil companies, you know, all those, oh my God, the oil company profits are so great. You can't participate because they're not environmentally and socially governance, ESG compliance, okay? But you can buy 
Tesla stock, congratulations. You can buy Facebook, congratulations. You know, stocks that tank. Uh, you know, you can't buy a lot. The, the mutual fund managers can't buy a lot of the stocks that are the most profitable things to own. So you are losing money. There's something called fiduciary responsibility that all mutual fund managers have, all brokers have, all CFAs have. And what fiduciary responsibility means is that they must do their best to make you the most money possible within your risk tolerance. That's what fiduciary responsibility is. Joe just completely blew up fiduciary responsibility. He just told the public, he just told mutual fund managers, your job isn't to make people money anymore. Your job is to cater to the teeny tiny minority of the psych patient white woke crowd. Okay. This is what it is. We need to, and again, remember what happens when stocks go up and down. This is a prop up the stock. So he's forcing money managers to buy stock in companies that suck, okay, because they're ESG. Oh, you want, I mean, Solyndra doesn't even exist anymore, but you could bet back in the, if this was going on in the Obama days, every mutual fund manager would have been investing in Solyndra because, of course, they were a woke company. You know, they were environmentally and socially governance compliant. So this is, this is what you wind up having. My advice, okay, is to look at your 401k plan, your mutual fund options that you have, okay? I mean, if you've got mutual funds in an IRA, if you've got regular, a regular investment account with mutual funds in it, my advice, if, if one of those mutual funds that you have says they are ESG compliant, get out of that and get into something else. Okay, because all you're going to do is see your returns be less than anything else. One of the reasons I left the brokerage industry was I couldn't stand the firms pushing pushing stuff, you know, because, well, you know, hey, they've got the underwriting deal, so let's do it. I will give you this. If you have the option, if let's say you want to buy large cap growth, large cap value, okay, large companies, put your money, my, what I did, okay, I will, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what I did, but I'm going to tell you why. If you have an S&P 500 index fund, think about what Warren Buffett buys. He buys S&P 500 companies. He's done pretty well investing in his life, I'd say, okay. He's never held a real job to speak of in the last 50 years because he's made enough money investing. And what does he buy? Gillette, Coke, IBM, okay, big companies, Fortune 500 companies. I will give you this. In an up market, the S&P 500 outperforms 80% of active mutual fund managers. Okay, so you got a four and five chance of doing better by just owning an S&P 500 fund. In a down market, the S&P 500 funds outperform 80% of the active money managers. So you have a four and five chance of doing better than them when the market goes down. Okay? Not losing more money, not losing as much. You want to avoid the, S, uh, the, the woke culture, the idiot jackass Joe idea here on let's support uh, failing companies that because, you know, they do diversity hires like Pete Buttigieg, you know. Just put your money in an S&P 500 fund. Put your money in a Russell 2000 fund if you like small cap stock, stocks. You know, stick to the index funds. To hell with the active money managers. They just got their cojones cut off with a pair of rusty scissors. And you're going to see a whole lot of mutual fund companies start really freaking out because the only place that makes sense to put money in is an index fund because then you don't have to play the stupid woke game. Joe is bound and determined to destroy this economy. Today's veto 
which, like I said, passed with both Republican and Democrat support in both the House and the Senate, Joe thinks he knows more than everybody else. Joe doesn't know how to freaking tie his shoelaces. Okay, Whoever is pulling the puppet strings on Joe, Barry, I'm talking to you, Okay, you're an idiot. Get out of this country. You are doing everything you can to screw it up. Joe, it's time to retire. My advice, find yourself a nice three-by-six box at Woodlawn Cemetery. I hear it's beautiful this time of year. That would be the only thing that you could possibly do at this point that would be a benefit to the United States. Right here, Joe, you're going to get your ass kicked in 2024. I hope to God you spend the rest of the time in jail in a cell with Hillary. Because when we take this country back from all you jackass Democrats... It's going to be fun. I'm going to use that word. I had to change it. Enjoy your afternoon. Pinball out.